With over a million producing wells in North America, Blacksmith Oil Tools presents its patent-pending all-in-one remedial tool designed for plugging oil and gas wells more efficiently than previous methods. The tool can save thousands of dollars and plug the well in a fraction of the time compared to conventional downhole tools. When an oil or gas well reaches the end of its productive life, the well operator is required to plug the well to prevent any leaks into aquifers or to surface. A wide range of factors dictate how a well is originally engineered, drilled, and produced. These variants include resource type, depths, formations, and production techniques. These same variants also dictate how the well is to be properly plugged and abandoned. Plugging wells can be a costly and time-consuming endeavor for the operator, as most wells need a combination of downhole tools and cement to be deployed down the well. To do so, different types of equipment need to be utilized such as a workover rig, wireline unit, and coil tubing unit. Each style of equipment has their own downhole tools that cater to how they operate, all having their own advantages and disadvantages performing certain tasks. Coiled tubing equipment has always had the advantage of speed but has lacked the ability to rotate off of tools, which means coiled tubing tools always had to do multiple runs to deploy a retainer and the stinger. A workover rig utilizing rotation can deploy a retainer and sting into it with one trip, but is much slower than a coil unit. A wireline unit can't pump cement down, but they can send an electrical charge to a perforator gun to blast holes in the casing for the cement to be pumped into. Blacksmith Oil Tools has combined the advantages of the rig, wireline, and coil into one tool to create a painless method to plug a well. When deployed on coil, our all-in-one remedial tool is the only hydraulic, non-rotational tool that can set retainers, sting in, and perforate in one trip. This design has tripled the speed of plugging while decreasing overall costs. This video is going to show a typical 6,100-foot deep oil well that needs to be plugged. This well needs the oil zone, squeezed with cement. A balanced plug across a gas zone. Production casing perforated and cemented. And cement circulated at surface. Let's take a look at how we do this using our all-in-one tool, coupled with a blacksmith oil tools style retainer. You may be asking yourself what a retainer is and why do we need it to plug a well. A retainer is a mechanical plug that has a sliding valve inside it that allows you to pump cement below. Once you pull out of it, the valve closes and seals. The tool and retainer mate together with a sealed system, preventing debris from entering the inside of the retainer. This helps ensure the stinger can reliably open the internal sliding valve to pump cement below the set retainer. This can deter potential drill-outs of the retainer if sting operation is impossible. Another added feature is our tool has three centralizers to help the memory-infused coil to drive the stinger cleanly to the inside of the retainer valve to open it. In case the tool gets stuck in hole, there's a safety shear sub on top. This shear value is greater than the shear value of the retainer. Hopefully, in a stuck-in-hole situation, you shear off the retainer first to prevent costly lost-in-hole tool charges. To help compact the tool, we placed another drive piston inside the fish neck, which is normally wasted space. With multiple piston and sleeves threaded together, it compounds the hydraulic force created by the fluid pressure. With enough pressure and stack pistons, it can get you enough force to pick up four city buses. Above the setting tool is the abrasion perforator that is ball activated to blast holes into the casing. Now let's run in the hole and we'll show you how our tool works. Once we're on depth, it's time to set the retainer. We'll start pumping fluid down the coil. The fluid enters each piston chamber. Since the surface area on top of the piston is larger than the bottom, it creates force to start stroking the setting sleeve which squeezes the retainer to seal the casing. Once the retainer is set in place, the pistons continue in a downward motion, and the lock collet latches inside a profile to prevent the pistons from sliding back up. At the same time, the release collet collapses and lets the setting sleeve slide upwards, exposing more of the stinger. Once these two motions are complete, the stinger is automatically driven to the inside of the retainer. Now let's start pumping cement through the retainer and into the oil zone. 
Once the predetermined amount of cement is squeezed below the retainer, we'll unsting from the retainer, which closes the sliding valve, and then we'll place cement above retainer. Let's pull out of the cement and do a quick pressure test of the casing to 1,000 PSI. Casing is good. Now let's pull out to 5,000 feet and do a balanced cement plug over a gaseous formation where regulators have chosen they want extra protection. We'll spot cement from 5,000 feet to 4,500 feet. Let's trip out of the hole to 3,000 feet where the primary cement job is poor on the outside of the production casing. It's time to activate the abrasion perforator portion of the tool. A ball gets pumped down the coil, followed by a sand slurry. Once the ball seats, it shifts the piston downward, exposing the jet nozzles to start abrasion perforating. Once completed, we'll shut in the flow T at surface and pump fluid into our new perforations to confirm cement is able to be squeezed through them. Good injection test. Now we know we can set a retainer above these perforations and squeeze cement in behind casing. Let's trip to surface and do this again. Now we're going to use our all-in-one tool again and set a retainer just above where we perforate it. Okay, retainer is set. Let's sting in and pump cement below the retainer and through the perforations and up the backside of the production casing. Casing cement fixed. Now let's sting out and dump some cement on top. Now we'll trip out of the hole to 1,010 feet, which is just below where the surface casing was landed. The perforation tool will once again be activated by a ball drop followed by a sand slurry. Once the perforations have been blasted through the casing, we'll shut in the surface flow T and achieve an injection rate around the annulus of the production casing and surface casing. Great! Our tools have done their job and now we can start running a scraper the next well while the cement pumper completes the surface cement. Blacksmith Oil Tools, well services for USA and Canada.